All right. This is a uh, submission from my good buddy, Wavy Davy Baby, who, uh, shout out to him, recently played an Empire Wars match against T90 Official, the real guy, so that's pretty cool. Um, and here we have him on Fortress, playing as the Celts. Ooh, coming awfully close to losing a bill there. <laughs> um, but Wavy, he does a lot of the uh, Huang, however you say it, uh, I think that's how you say it, Rush. Um, <clears throat> and he's going to kind of do something like that on this map, uh, which is Fortress. It's kind of like a glorified arena in a sense, maybe like Arena Empire Wars. You start off with a small eco and you even get a castle. So uh, it makes it easy to go for a fast castle because of the walls and everything. And, uh, you know, hopefully go for your unique unit if you want to. I mean, so many times we don't get to see certain unique units just because it's not feasible to do in a, like an Arabia game. Speed it up a little bit. Ooh, that was a horrific boiler. <laughs> uh, Wavy is about uh, 13, 1400, depending on uh, whether he's having a good day or not. <laughs> We've both been there, right? Uh, and this is a ranked matchup. And El Conquistador Caxcan is playing as the Turks, which is a pretty uh, powerful Sith period, but especially on like Arena and Fortress and stuff like that, they get their Castle Age Janissary. It's just very powerful gunpowder. Wavy's up to Feudal First by quite a bit. Actually, looks like he will. Yeah, he almost hit Feudal before Green even clicked up. Um, Wavy's on 25 bills to Green's uh, 28 right now, and he's already researching Castle before uh, Green hits Feudal. So here we go. We got one villager coming forward. She doesn't even have Loom. The balls on this dude doesn't even have Loom. Just imagine if uh, Green was like, I don't know, scouting or something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if your opponent uh, hits an early feudal, he's probably going for an early castle. And uh, you maybe want to keep your scout in front of your base to see what's coming forward. But uh, it looks like Green is not worried about that right now. So we got a house. Boom, using Castle Age. All right. So, boom. He drops a, a Siege Workshop. He's got two spears so far. And uh, Green, that's not going to do a whole lot of good, but okay. <laughs> uh, I love how Wavy's Kelt, so his, his Lumberjack's are already working faster, and uh, he's, he's still got the wood upgrade, which is great. Killing up a ton of Woad Raiders, man. Like, how often do you see Woad Raiders? I mean, I don't, I don't know if I made Woad Raiders maybe more than two or three times in a ranked game period. Um, maybe I should, but here they come. Oh, nope, Petard's first. Or at least a petard to help with the ram getting through a little bit quicker there, it looks like. And there's purple striped pajamas. Gotta love it. I mean, what is that? A freaking battle axe or something? They kind of remind me of the axemen from Age of Empires 1. Coming straight here. Green, can you see it? Mm, I don't think he's coming into his point of view. Nope, he's not. Okay. I think it's not the greatest. I would have preferred if they come around this way. But uh, here we go. We have one armor on our Wood Raiders right now. Just going to pop them inside of these rams. And with this one petard and two rams, we're coming in for the kill, boys. Green has only got one villager queued up. A ton of resources in the bank. Will he try and quick wall this? He will try to house wall it. Still open on this side though. Doesn't matter. Two rams. Oh, if you can use both rams. Come on, use both rams. There you go. Yep, house goes down. And the Woad Raiders are in. Wow, that was surprisingly effective. Just how quickly he got in there with just one petard. So now Green is getting some Janissaries. I wish he had a whole clump of them, but uh, kind of goofed the flute by not having more. One villager down so far, two villagers down. Man, 
crazy. Just one Janissary. Put your freaking bills in the town center, bro. Yeah, get a conversion. Another builder down. Converted a Woad Raider there. We'll take out the Monk. Ooh, goes straight for the Maganel and gets it to save his Rams. A third Ram coming in now. It's currently attacking the Monastery. Wow. I mean, I feel like they just touch these villagers and the villagers fall over. Does he have Loom? He doesn't have Loom! Oh, that's why. My man does not have Loom. It's so common on Arena and Fortress Camps and I get Loom for a while, but what a, a misstep to not get Loom when you're being pressured like this. I was wondering, I was like, how are these guys dying this easily? Jeez. I mean, the Woods only have 10 attack. You know, base. Good lord. And there's the GG. I mean, just slaughter this dude. Does he even have a villager left? He has one Janissary left. Wavy literally killed every single vill this guy has. The KD is 42 to 15. I mean, wow. Obviously, not every game's going to be this effective. He was even adding in a second talent center. I mean, I love that. Um... But geez Louise, that you could not ask for a better game right there for just how things flow together. So let me know in the comments if you guys enjoyed this game and I'll catch you guys later.